Welcome Aries. Welcome back. This is your May reading. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it is May already. Wow. Okay, time is moving by fast. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to get some energies and then we're going to take a look at what is going on in the month of May for Aries. So my lovely Aries, take what resonates and leave what don't okay so we have intervention and purpose divine intervention is occurring you know you are being guided happiness is your purpose in the month of may right so we're going to go ahead and get one of the fortune oracle and I will go ahead and read you the message at the end of the reading. So stay tuned till the end for your fortune oracle message and also I'll be pulling an angel number. So stick by till the end. Okay, we have beware. Be careful who you trust at this time. Okay. The number three. Okay, so the number three could be very significant. And like I said, I will get into um, the meaning from the book at the end of the reading. So let's go ahead and pull some cards, some energy for my lovely Aries. Okay, so first card out. The Ace of Cups. New love coming in for you. Some kind of new beginning. This could be in love or in some other areas of your life. Um, oh, the Death card. Something's transforming. Something is changing for you in the month of May. You know, there may be an ending along with this new beginning. What else do we have for Aries? What else do we have for Aries, please? Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune. I'm liking this so far, Aries. I think this is going pretty good. Okay, the Eight of Cups. Move this out of the way. And we have the devil. Okay. So, so far, Aries, we have a lot of cups energy. We have the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups. So, it could be a um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Scorpio is very strong. Um, with that death card, the Wheel of Fortune energy, this is Pisces. So lots of cup energy here. And at the end, we have the Devil card, which is Capricorn. So if you are connected to those signs in any way, this could be very significant, right? Okay, so we have... We have the Knight of Wands on the bottom. So I feel like you're going to be taking a lot of action. You could also be going on an adventure in May, taking a trip, seeing the sights, you know, going on a road trip, going on vacation, you know, but there's something that you're doing. You're traveling, you're staying busy, you're being motivated. Okay? This is my card of excitement too, exciting new things. Okay, so we have the ace of cups and the death card so i feel like if you are currently in a love situation i feel like this situation is truly transforming it's changing it may be escalating right but it is transforming into something more and i'm getting something greater with it being next to the wheel of fortune Right. I feel like there are things that you are trying to let go of 
with this Eight of Cups energy, you're trying to let go of certain negative energies. It could be people that are around you, especially with this be careful who you trust at this time. You may be letting go of certain people, certain situations that you no longer want to be a part of. Okay, I'm really getting that you, you are trying very hard to stay away from drama. Okay, you're trying to stay away from drama. You don't want to be a part of it. You know, you don't want to be in the middle of any of that. Okay, so that is what I'm getting. My lovely Aries. New love is basically a very good possibility. See, we're going to clarify these cards a little bit because I want to know more about this. If this is a new job, you could be changing positions. Something that pays better. Something that, you know, gives you more drive is the word that I'm getting. Um... And I feel like if this is a job situation, you're trying to stay away from people who may be spreading some kind of rumor or gossip. You're like, you've, you're fed up with it. You're like done with it. You know, you're leaving that behind. You're kind of keeping to yourself is what I'm getting. If this is for a job, you're like keeping to yourself. Tell me more about... Aries financial situation. What's going on with Aries finances? Give me a message. What's going on with Aries finances? But your overall energy for the month of May is the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like, you know, you're hitting a turning point. Things are starting to look up, Aries. Your fortunes are changing, right? Okay, we have confidence is the key to your success. So being very confident in your situation is going to help you out a great deal in the month of May. You know, showing that confidence, that ability to do something, you know, even if you have to fake it until you make it. It's like you're confident in the actions that you're doing in the month of May. You have that Leo energy. So you're very strong. You're very capable. You're very aware of what needs to be done, how to do it, and how to get to the place where you want to go. You know? And I'm feeling like this is not only in your finances. I feel like this is in your life in general. Okay? So let's go ahead and get some cards for Aries finances. Give me a message for Aries. What's going on with Aries finances, please? Give me a message for Aries. What is going on with Aries finances? Okay, the three of wands. What else? The five of wands. There's a lot of competition. But I feel like you stand out in the crowd, Aries. When it comes to your finances and making your money, I feel like you stand out in the crowd. You're like, yeah. Okay, the Six of Cups and the Magician. You may be manifesting something, but I see that Taking care of your family, taking care of your responsibilities is your primary goal, right? Having enough to take care of your family. There's a lot of wands here. You know, we have wands here with the three of wands, the five of wands, the magician has wands, the ten of wands. You know, you may be doing a lot in the month of May. We also have the ace of wands at the bottom. So... I feel like you may be taking on new projects. You may be having new ideas that you're going to run with in the month of May. There's something that's going to bring you 
a lot of satisfaction in the month of May. And I feel like, you know, it's going to be more responsibility, more, more of a, a burden on you. But I feel like what you're manifesting in the month of May is to be able to be in a better place. And I feel like that's exactly where you're moving. You're moving into this better place, in the, into this better situation. Okay? Um, we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards as well. Yeah, there's some kind of position that you're leaving behind for a better position. I feel like you're making choices. You're making choices in your financial situation that are going to move you ahead, move you forward. Because you've been waiting on something to come through. Something that may have had a lot of competition. Uh, you know, maybe a lot of people have wanted the same thing that you have. But I feel like, you know, the responsibilities you have have willed you into taking more responsibility for situations. You know? Forgive my cat here, Ray Ray. I don't think, I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's like right there on the desk. Just being nosy. All right, Ray. Okay, so yeah, that's what we have for your finances, my lovely Aries. So let's go ahead and clarify. Give me more messages. Give me more messages for Aries. Tell me, why is the Death Guard here with the Ace of Cups? Watch your tail, Ray. Why is the Ace of Cups here with the Death Card? Give me a message. Why is the Ace of Cups here with the Death Card, Spirit? Give me a message. The Eight of Swords. Okay. I feel like if you're in a love situation or if, or if you've even met this person already, this may be, you know, something that you're doing in the month of May. I feel like you're taking things very slow because you're kind of holding yourself back from pursuing something new. It could be that you had ended something in the past, the very near past, that has kind of brought you to the situation to where you may not be ready for new love just yet, you know, so I feel like you may be holding yourself back. That's the reason why we have the Ace of Cups with the Death card, because you're not sure, you know, you're in this mental place where you're like, am I ready? You know, I don't want to be, I don't want to feel this way again, you know. I feel like you may have have you may have a lot to say, a lot of feelings. I feel like you're actually demanding more respect than you did in past relationships. That's the reason why you may be holding yourself back because you're trying to find out more information. You're trying to find out more information about this new love, about this new person that's coming into your life because you don't want to be treated the way you were in a past relationship. So you're like demanding respect. And if you don't get that respect, you're like closing yourself off. You're like, I don't have time for this. You know? So give me a message for the Eight of Cups and the Devil card. Give me a message for the Eight of Cups and the Devil. The Nine of Swords. I feel like there was a lot of fear. I feel like fear and doubt is what you're letting go of. You know, fear and doubt can hold us back from many different things. But you have this Wheel of Fortune energy in the middle. This is your overall energy, the Wheel of Fortune. So things are turning in a new direction. You know, you're hitting this turning point. Your luck is changing. Your, your good fortune is changing in the month of May. The month of May is going to be a very lucky month. It's going to be a, a month of good changes. So I feel like you're letting go of this fear. You know, you're moving forward 
without any fear this month. It could be due to the changes that you want to make with your finances. You know, um, we have the Hierophant on the bottom. So definitely, I feel like, you know, you are becoming more spiritual. Oh, the, the fool. Wow. The magician again. Yeah, there's definitely something that you're manifesting. You're manifesting some kind of new beginning. Um, maybe you're socializing more. Maybe you're getting out there and pursuing. Um, but you're looking for those long-term securities, right? You're looking for that long-term relationship, that long-term job. You're like ready to get in there and win it, right? So... With the Hierophant, you know, you may be going into some kind of traditional situation. Or you may be looking to, you know, pursue something that's going to lead to marriage um, when it comes to love. You know, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for your mate. You know, you, you're not settling for second best or for, you know, something that's only going to keep you... Um, satisfied for a moment you're looking for that long term for something that's going to be stable and reliable for the long term you know that's what I'm getting let's take a look what is going to be your challenge in the month of May my beautiful Aries what is going to be your challenge in the month of May Then we'll get your advice. Your challenge. Using your words wisely. Be careful how you use your words in the month of May. Um, I feel like people could be taking offense to um, some kind of words that you're using. Also, when it comes to your communication in general, I feel like that's going to be your challenge for the month of May. Actually, um, being able to be open with your words is what I'm getting. Being able to tell your truth, speak your truth. You know, I feel like in the month of May, you are going to be very busy, but you're also going to be very, um, very restless. And I feel like in the month of May, you're... Your mental energy is going to be like an overdrive. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some advice. For Aries. How can Aries. What advice do we have for Aries for their challenge? Okay. The world card. Ending cycles. You know. Th this is. You know, building on your achievements, you know, um, I feel like you will be successful. You know, you'll be moving past this, the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Swords in reverse. Okay, so I, I feel like, I feel like how you're going to get through your challenge is to really see things from a different point of view and also maybe um something that has been aggravating you or something that has been gnawing at you mentally it's time to put that to rest it's time to let that go it's time to move past it so if there's things from the past that you're letting that you're keeping hold of it's time to end that cycle it's time to start a new cycle Okay, speak your truth and let it go. Be, because I feel like your mental capacity this month in May is kind of focused on other things. You know, you're not really focused on yourself. You're focused on other people's needs. And I'm, I'm feeling like this Four of Swords in reverse, I feel like you feel like, you know, your mind isn't able to rest. Like, you're very restless. Like, you can't really put the focus on yourself. 
So I feel like the way to get through your challenge is to release the past. You know, release that energy to let your mind be at peace. Also, if you if you do meditation, that could be a very good way of easing your mind, bringing your mind to peace, bringing your mind to center, you know, clearing your chakras and freeing yourself of all that built up energy, right? So, yeah, that is my advice for you for your challenge, okay? My lovely Aries. Okay, so let's go ahead and look more into your finances. Tell me, why is the Three of Wands here with the Five of Wands? Give me a message. Why is the Three of Wands here with the Five of Wands? Why is the Three of Wands here with the Five of Wands? The emperor you're looking to take control you're looking at a position of authority you know I see you in a uniform you in some kind of higher rank right and with the three of wands and the the five of wands I feel like what this is Aries and this is you this is your energy so this is something that you can step into very easily because this is you. This is your energy. Okay. I feel like with this three of wands and this five of wands, you're looking to find a position that gives you more time. That may even give you more time with your family, but still offers you the same, you know, income, you know, that increase that you're looking for, but you're looking for stability. You're looking to use your creative. You're looking to use your creative advantages to pursue what you want. Right? I feel like if you have a new idea, if you have a business venture that you want to pursue, I feel like now is the time to do it. Now is the time to put those thoughts into action. You know, if you want to start a business, if you want to start a store, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you know, some kind of social media, now is the time to take action because you are stepping into your power here, my beautiful Aries. Yeah, the will of fortune. Luck is on your side. What you do is going to be very lucky. You have good fortune. Okay, so take the good ideas you know you just need that one good idea that you focus on and take that into your nine of cups energy you know take that into fulfillment you know leave behind the rest see now i feel like you're kind of hesitating when it comes to starting some kind of new adventure and it could be because of this eight of cups nine of swords energy you know, it's time to release that fear. It's time to let it go. It's time to move away from it. You know, let go of the things that don't work and move ahead with the things that do. You know, but you're not going to know what the things that work are until you try the things that don't work. Right? We had the Queen of Cups and the Chariots. Yeah, so I, I feel like you have support around you. It, it's, it's very clear that you will be moving forward with a lot of new ideas. You know, you may be going on a new adventure, a new journey, taking risks maybe that you wouldn't have taken otherwise. But I feel like the month of May is going to be a huge journey for you, right? Why is the magician... And the Ten of Wands here. Give me a message. Why is the Magician and the Ten of Wands here? The Magician and the Ten of Wands, please. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands again. Yeah. You're manifesting something. You're manifesting something into reality. And this is the best time for you to push through, through those energies. We have the Page of Cups here. So this is 
this is the card of offers being offered to you. You know, some kind of messages of good news that you're going to receive. Now, this is also the card of believe the impossible is possible, right? Believe in your abilities, my beautiful Aries, because that, that is going to, that is what's going to pay off for you. Because what's coming forward, what's coming forward is you manifesting something that's going to give you good fortune. You know, you have the willpower. This is, you know, you gaining new ideas, taking new actions, taking a risk, adapting to your situation. You know, if, if something don't work, you adapt and move on to something new. That's just what you do, my lovely Aries. You just adapt and move on to something new. But I feel like, you know, he's holding on to that one wand. That one idea. So all it takes is that one idea put into motion. And, you know, that can get your whole life to change. You know, just one idea can change your whole life. But you have to put that idea into action. You know, you have to take a risk somewhere. And I feel like Aries, May is the best time for you to take action. We have the Wheel of Fortune twice. The universe is confirming to you that you have control of your life. And you have this good fortune coming through for you. Okay? You have good fortune. You know, good things coming your way. This could be fate. Destiny. You know? There may be something that you're destined to do that you've been very fearful to put into action. I feel like May is that time. May is the time to take action. Right? Um, let's see. Let's get. Let's get an angel card for you. I want to know more. Let's get an angel card for your finances. Give me a message for Aries. Hey, we have peace. Archangel Shamuel. Peace comes from rem remembering that only love is real. So something is going to bring you a lot of peace in the month of May. You know, you're going to be in a place of calm. You know, something's going to make you feel very comfortable, very satisfied and peaceful. We also have Archangel Jaffiel, clear your space, get rid of the clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng shui. So that may be useful as well to clear your areas, clear your space. And, you know, the, the more we release, the more is released back to us, right? And, and it's, it's very simple as that. The more we release, the more is released back to us. The more we receive. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a love message. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? I'm, I'm, in all, I feel like May is going to be a very busy month for you. It's going to be a lot of firsts, a lot of news. Um, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this new love that's coming in, my beautiful Aries, may be different than your usual type. They may be totally different than what you're used to. This person may take you out of your comfort space and catch you totally off guard. Okay? Um... Let's see, let's get one more. 
Let's get one more for Aries. Tell me more about this person. Okay, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah, this person who catches you very unexpected could be the one that you're looking for. This could be the long-term situation that you've been waiting for. Okay, so I feel like the month of May is going to be very exciting for you. <laughs> There's going to be a lot going on. Um, and... I feel like there's going to be a lot of surprises for you. There's a lot of wands energy here. So I feel like you're going to be busy as well. Um, there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to be doing. Okay. So let's take a look at this card here. Beware. Be careful who you trust at this time. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at number three. Okay. Okay. It says this card is a warning card. You could be in danger of taking too many risks. So be very careful in your financial and personal life at this vulnerable time. Avoid excessive alcohol, drugs, and food intake as these could lead to dependence and weight gain. Personal and relationships, affairs of the heart could be very stormy. So now is not a good time to start a new relationship. You are likely to be vulnerable. So may not make the wisest choices. Take care not to become involved with someone who zaps your confidence in any way. It will only cause you heartache in the long term. Listen to your intuition and be on your guard for those trying to con you or those who do not have your best interests at heart. This card can also indicate temptation. So avoid adultery no matter how tempting it may be. Don't mistake false flattery and lust for love as it could end badly. Try and see people for who they are. Avoid putting someone on a pedestal and being disappointed when the reality does not match your dream. Jealousy friendships could surface and Judas or smiling assassin, assassin, assassins could cause you grief. It is best to let go of these toxic friendships as soon as possible career and money the wrong advice could see you losing money so be aware don't get involved in any get rich quick schemes don't lend money at the moment you are unlikely to get back nor is it a good time to borrow money unless you are 100 percent sure that you're able to pay it back Keep a tab on spending and unexpected bills may arise. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.